This pick, Chris. Oh, pick 25. Infamous 25 was the original pick for Mike Trout. 25th overall in the 2009 draft. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the 450 channel. I'm Daniel here with Chris. Hello. And because there's no baseball news as of the time we're recording this, why not do a redraft for one of the most famous drafts in MLB baseball, the 2009 draft. 2009 draft, the year of Mike Trout, let's be honest. Yeah, the year of Mike Trout, that's why it's the most famous one. Um, <laughs> As Jays fans, I'm sure we all heard this, but if you guys didn't know, the, the player who was drafted right before Mike Trout in this draft in like actual real life was Randall Grichuk. Yep. And just put that into so, perspective, okay, guys? Put that into perspective. Put so, that into perspective. Yeah. I mean, um, there's not much to say. There's not much to say. This yeah. draft was honestly, now that we're re-looking at this, it, it was probably one of the worst drafts uh, but, in terms of missed opportunities. Oh, my God, yeah. I mean, if you don't have Mike Trout drafted number one, like, I mean, come on, guys. What are they doing? Like, at least one or two, because number one pick wasn't bad. So. There was Strasburg, so, like, you can't, you can't, I mean... Yeah, Strasburg was. went first overall to the Washington Nationals, so... Yeah. I mean, that's probably the only decent pick on this list, I have to say. Yep, yeah, no, I mean, everyone else is kind of, uh... But then again, drafts are shot in the dark, so you never know. Exactly. Like, you can't but blame it's anyone. fun to look back, this is, what, 12 years ago now? Am I doing mm -hmm. the math right? 12 years ago? I don't know, I'm not a mathematician. Something like that. 13, I don't know. 13, 12. Anyhow, it's over a decade ago, so why not look back at it? Uh, if you guys like this content, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. As well, drop a like. And if you want to see us do another draft, let us know which one to do below. I mean, we got all season to kill, so. Exactly. So we're going to go from 30 to 1. So let's start this off with number 30. I mean, the so number 30 that year was the Tampa Bay Rays, Chris. Yes. And their original pick was, I've never even heard of this guy, uh, Leave. Vaughn Washington? Levon Sounds Vaughn familiar, Washington? but that's also I've a never very heard popular of name. So He was a second baseman out of Florida in high school. All did, right? he, did he make it to the MLB? I have no clue. I like, I mean, I've never heard of him, so maybe he did. Maybe he made like one or two games, but okay. that was the original pick. Uh, and in the redraft, we have Billy Hamilton going there. Hmm. I mean, so we have somebody who probably never made the MLB and a guy with an 8.6 career war. Billy Hamilton. I mean, also, this guy is a speed demon. So imagine this guy on the Rays in such a small ball franchise. I'm going to be honest. I think the Rays could probably sign him anyway. So that's just what the Rays well, as do. As of now, yeah. He seems as like a Rays now. player. This definitely, I feel like this could still happen. 100%. Yeah, I, I agree. I, it could happen. I mean, even pick 29 could happen. So who was the original they had, player? They had Yankee. This was the Yankees. And the Yankees got... Uh, uh, Slad Heth Slade Hethcott? Hethcott? Slade Hethcott? Slade Hethcott? Slade I don't know how to pronounce the name. Once again, I've never heard of that guy. I'm going to be honest. I mean, and they could have had Mike Fears. Fire? Fear, Fears, Daniel? Fires? Fears? You're terrible at pronouncing names. Mike Fires. I am Fires. terrible at pronouncing names. Mike yeah. Fires. Whatever. Mike Fires. I just know because he's got the... The mustache? Three quarters mustache or whatever it hey, is. Hey, he now. also ratted out the Astros, so good job, Mike. So the Yankees could have had Mike Fires, so that's interesting. You know. I mean, is Mike Fire still playing? I think so. I don't remember. Maybe. Maybe he's retired now. I don't know. He's probably still playing. Fun, fun fact about this, looking back. Mike Fires was the 22nd. He got picked in the 22nd round. 676 overall pick. Wow. That's so, kind of like Kevin Pillar right there. That is, I mean. What a grinding. Look at that guy. That Look is him. a grind. So you got to respect it for the guy. Mm -hmm. All right. Pick 28 was the Boston Red Sox. I mean, and they picked Raymond Fuentes. I've never heard of this guy. Have you, Chris? I have not. But they could have had Steven Matz. Imagine Steven Matz on the Red Sox. Or at least, yeah, even when they were like, oh, man, they would have been good in, you know, that 2016-17 era. Like, they could have had Matz pitching, too. That year where they had, Ooh. it was like David Ortiz's last year. Mm -hmm. And they were pushing for the playoffs again. If they had Mats, that would have been a different game. Yeah, they would have had, like, a young Mats. Like, that would have been a great pick. Oh. I mean, then again, like we said, it's baseball, so it's funny looking back at it because mm -hmm. half of these guys didn't make it. <laughs> Majority of people who get drafted to, the ML, like, to teams don't make the MLB. So, yeah, yeah pick 27. 
went this to the... This is the only guy so far that was actually picked in the first round that just dropped down. Really? Who's yeah, so... Matt's? Was Matt's picked first round? No, he was picked uh, second round. Oh, okay. So, 27th pick went to the Seattle Mariners. And who was their first pick? Oh, what's his name? Nick uh, Franklin, who Nick I have Franklin. heard of, actually. I have heard of him. Where did he go overall? 19th? Yeah, he went 19th overall to the Cardinals. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. And uh, their original pick would be Shelby, or, or their new pick would be Shelby Miller, who, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I don't think it would help the Mariners at all. Let's be real. I mean, is he still in the MLB? Shelby Miller? I think he's Tired by now. Hey, maybe, maybe he had a good career. Well, we don't know. He all was right. a decent pitcher, though, for the Cardinals during their like World Series runs and all that. Nice, nice, nice. And then now we have pick 26, and this went to the Brewers. Yeah, for uh, and, and, and the redraft would be Garrett Richards. Pretty good. That's a pretty solid relief pitcher. We all know how the Brewers are with pitching. So I mean, imagine if the Brewers got him and then still kept Woodruff and Corbin down the line. Oh, my God. What else? Like what that, would, that would be a sick, sick rotation. 100%. Uh, I'll mention their original pick was Eric Arnett, who I've never heard of either. I don't know if you have, Chris. <laughs> I have not. I mean, I'm no minor league scout, so I have no idea who Eric Arnett is. It's a shame he didn't make the MLB because he's got a pretty cool name, but yep. So um, this pick, Chris. Oh, pick 25. The infamous 25 was the original pick for Mike Trout. 25th overall in the 2009 draft, the... Los Angeles Angels selected Mike Trout, but they could have got Kyle Gibson. I mean, let's be real. If stuff followed how they should have, they should have had Kyle Gibson. It would have been a pitcher that they needed, so, and maybe their rotation wouldn't be been as bad. Well done. Well done, Angels. Oh. Well done. Oh, I, swear, I swear that was supposed to be one of the Yankees' picks as well. It and, was supposed to be the Yankees' pick, actually. Well done again. Well done. Way to and have... to make matters even worse, they mm-hmm. had the pick before that, too, and almost mixed... Missed out on Mike Trout. Yeah, you want to know who they actually they took? Randall Gritchick. <laughs> Randall Gritchick, 24th overall. Yeah, um, I don't even know what to say. I mean, you guys, you know I don't like Randall. And he was drafted a pick. He's going to have that on him forever. Like, he was the guy who was picked one pick before Mike Trout by the same team. Yeah, I mean, they could have got Kiki Hernandez. I think he's better than Randall, so. I think Kiki Hernandez is way better than Randall Gritchick. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Randall but uh, bro. moving on the 23 White Sox. They selected Original... Jared Mitchell. Yeah, I've never heard of Jared Mitchell. Have you? Nope, but I have heard of Scooter Jeanette, who they could have had. That Scooter Jeanette hit bombs for the Reds. Yeah, but he's not in the MLB anymore, so I don't know what happened to him. Like, he's I think kinda... he's overseas now. I think he's in Japan. Really? But he. I heard he's playing with Adam Jones in Japan. Ah, the boys. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Lovely. Mm-hmm. But, uh, Pick 22 to the Twins, and they originally picked Kyle Gibson. Honestly, is not a bad pick. Not bad. Not bad. Good job. I respect it from the Twins. Oh, it's a, that's a decent pick, you know? Yeah. And, it's not Mike Trout, but it's a decent pick. Yeah, they passed up on him, but, you know, it's it's fine. It's fine. Okay. You know, they, they, you know, they, they could have had Jake Marinczyk, though. So but, Yeah, they could have had Jake Marinczyk, who, I'm not going to lie, this is probably looking down the line. It wouldn't have helped them because they just had Byron Buxton eventually. Mm-hmm. Well, let me, right. let me go close my door real quick. Yep. My mom's yelling. I'm going to move on to uh, 21, which were the, the Astros, and they originally picked Javon Miller, who I have never heard of. Like half the prospects, because as we said, baseball is a very non prospecty break it or make it sport. And they mm-hmm. could have had Chris's favorite person, Randall Gritchick. I'm hey. sure Chris would love this pick. Oh, well done, Astros. Well done. My favorite player on the Toronto Blue Jays, Randall the Handle Gritchick. You know what? If they had Randall during that trash can banging, Randall would have hit 50 home runs probably. MVP Randall. Yeah, MVP Randall. MVP Randall. Okay, I hate talking about him. Let's move on. Because the Jays are next. Woohoo! So, I mean, we drafted Chad Jenkins, which, not terrible, but not good. It, it, it is nowhere near good. Not good. I mean, at least at least he had a decent career on like half of these dudes. So yeah, yeah. But we could have had Will Myers. I mean, imagine Will Myers in the Jays uniform. First of all, hitting bombs when he was prime. Will Will Myers? He would look good in blue. Everyone looks good in blue. Yeah, you're right. Especially Mike Trout. He would look great in blue. I know. 
but yeah. let's be real. We weren't getting Mike Trout. And again, the Jays messed up and did not pick Mike Trout. <laughs> we passed up on Mike Trout, Daniel. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, uh, pick 19 went to the Cardinals, and they selected Shelby Miller, who I believe was lower on this list. Was it Yes. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. But they could have had Jan Gomes. And I mean, this would have been good for them now, because... As Jan Gomes would start to get better, Yachty would have been like, you know what I mean? It would have been the perfect switch over for Yachty and Jan. Yeah, for sure. But I, I mean, I guess I probably don't think they would have drafted a catcher at that time anyway. No. But still, I mean, that, I mean, they could have had Jan Gomes. That's cool. I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Of so, course. Of course. Maybe they thought Yachty was going to go a little longer. Yeah. And uh, speaking of not going longer, man, pick 18 here, Miami Marlins. They selected Chad James, okay, and they could have had oh. Chris Davis with a K, but he's not good anymore, so I don't know. Is he not on Marlins now? Chris Davis is he on the Marlins? I don't know. He kind of, but he really fell off. He, like he, if you talk about a guy who fell off, like what's with Chris? Both, both the guys named Chris Davis <laughs> fell off. What's with Chris Davis's and just having monster home run years and then just literally jumping off the CN Tower? Like I don't like, understand. Oh how did my they do that? God, no, uh, that he was understand. like, like what? Oh, he's on text. He was on Texas. My bad. Oh, he got traded. For, um, yeah. what was that guy, Dane Dunning and stuff, I think it was? Yes, I think so. It was part of that, I believe. I don't remember. But, what, Chris, what happened? What happened? He was so good. Yeah. So good. 247. You know, his batting average. He had it for three years in a row. That was... But he was hitting, like, 45-plus bombs, so I wasn't complaining. Exactly. Like, and then now, what, he hit, like, 10 last year? Like, what happened? Yeah, I don't know. Talk about a guy that fell off. Or Chris Davis, man. Or rest in peace, Chris Davis is, man. Chris Davis is. I mean, right. 17th overall pick here, Chris. It actually was a decent pick. And I believe the only reason they didn't get this guy in this redraft because he went higher up, but that was AJ Pollock who went to the Diamonds. Yeah. Good job, Diamondbacks. They could have had yeah. Mike Leak if this draft went by future talent, which, I mean, still isn't bad. Mike Leak's a great pitcher. So, I mean, I, I he's like... a very underrated pitcher. Like, he's not, he's not going to give you. A plus numbers, but you know, he's a solid three. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. And then, funny thing is, they had the next pick, too. <laughs> Which was not a good pick. Oh my God. Bobby Boschering and Bishop Verrett. No, oh, Bishop Verrett's the school he went to. That makes sense. Bobby <laughs> Boschering. <laughs> I was like, whose name is Bishop? Bishop Verrett. Okay. Bobby Boschering. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, they didn't make the MLB. I'm gonna be honest; he didn't make it, probably. But they could have had Mike Miner, which would have been a great pick. Again, imagine this rotation with Mike Miner, Mike Leak. I'm pretty sure at this time they had Dan Heron still, who was a sick pitcher. Like, yeah, I mean, now, I mean, if there's if they were still there, they have Zach Gallen now too, and Bumgarner. Oh yeah, him too. Yeah, like they actually could have been decent, but you know, it's the Diamondbacks. Yeah. <laughs> Diamondbacks will diamond back, you know, and they got to tell Marte now. So, yeah, uh, pick 15 to the Cleveland This is where you really Guardians. see that the um, – sorry, I'm just going to cut you off here. The, this is where you really see that the draft missed, like, a lot because pick 15 for Cleveland, the Guardians here. Oh, the original pick was Alex White, which I, I don't – I've never heard of him. Have you, Chris? Sounds familiar, but I don't know. That's also – sounds like a very basic name. But yeah. the pick America. that they should have got – in this redraft, Brutal. Zach Wheeler, who's a fantastic pick, who went oh. six overall. Yeah, he he did. Almost went Cy Young. Like, almost was Cy Young winner this year. So, is that Zach Wheeler? Am I thinking of the same Zach Wheeler? Oh, you're right. The Zach guy Wheeler. on the Phillies, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah the guy on the Phillies. Phillies. Yeah. Like, imagine having a draft so stacked that the guy falls from six to 15. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I mean, you obviously never know, like, what's going to happen and all that, but still, like, is that real? Oh, he's so good. Like, once he left the Mets? Oh, my God. All Imagine right. him on Cleveland, though. Oh, the, the, when they had team. that insane rotation with uh, Young Bauer. Um, Bieber. Corey, Cy Young, Corey, Corey Kluber, Kluber. Clevenger. Oh, my God. That 1-5. Oh, that 1-5 that is, like, almost all aces. Won the 20... Your 2016. 2016 World Series. That's when the Cubs won, right? Yes. Yeah, they would have won that series, 100%. Probably. Or I mean, who, who knows? They would have blown it, too. We don't know. All right, pick 15 or 14, Texas Rangers. They drafted Matt Perk. 
Yep. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. But they could have had two time or two time three time batting champion, two times in the American League, one time in the National League, DJ LeMahieu. My favorite name. I mean, imagine Texas having this kind of this guy when they were pushing for the playoffs. What in fifteen and 16? 2015, 2016. Um twenty was it twenty Oh, they weren't good. Twenty eleven? Twenty eleven? Is that when yeah. they blew it to the was Cardinals? Is that they had Matt Holliday? No, no, Matt Holliday. What's that guy's name? Uh, well, Bill Trey. Yes. No, they had another guy. That guy who was like really good for like two years. Uh, oh, Hamilton? Was it Hamilton? Oh, Josh Hamilton. Yeah, yeah, yeah they had guy. Hamilton at the front. Josh Hamilton. What a guy who goes. They might have not blown it to the Cardinals in the finals. <laughs> yeah, they might have not. But oh well, what can you do? Uh, pick thirteen. Once again, um, they, they the the Athletics. They could have had. Jant Green. Don't know who that is. Or Grant, that is, but they could Grant have had, Green, my bad. Grant Green. They could have had AJ Pollock, though. Who is pretty good, let me say. He, I what, mean, I think he's so underrated. He just gets hurt a lot, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. But he's good. But when he's on the field, like, you want him there. Like, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. He's really good. And he's having an insane resurgence with his career good in um, LA with the Dodgers. Beautiful. He'd love to see it. Pick 12 was the Kansas City Royals, and they picked a guy named Aaron Crow. Pretty cool name, by the way. But they could have had Dallas Keuchel. I mean, Again, for, for uh, imagine this rotation, 2015, when they're pushing, they would have been unstoppable. Was that the was it 15 or 16 the year Keuchel won the, the Cy Young? I think it was 16. 16, but I think 15 he finished runner-up. Oh, my God. That would have been such a disgusting rotation for the... The they, they won the World Series. He would just won it a year earlier. Like, let's be real. Well, yeah, they did lose in the the finals in 2015. So, like, they lost to the Giants or 14. 14, sorry. 14 yeah. yeah, they could have gone back to back. To be honest, maybe with Keiko. They really could have. Like, I I would not push that past them. All right, pick eleven. You want to read this one off? Yeah. So the original pick was Tyler Madzik, who I've actually heard of. Chris. Me too. Me too. I have heard of this guy. He's a pen arm, right, or something? He was on the Braves for a long time. I have no That's idea, but I, the n- name sounds very familiar. Yeah, I, I've definitely seen that name, and mm-hmm. uh, they could have the Rockies could have had Patrick Corbin. Hmm. Now he's on the um, what's it called? The the Nationals, isn't he? Yeah. Yep. I think so. Yeah. But I mean, let's be real. If Patrick Corbin went to the Rockies, he his sucked. ERA would have gone way up. He would not have had that excellent contract that he has with the Nationals. Yeah. Let's be real. It, 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 they they dodged. Patrick Corbin dodged a bullet. Yep. Yeah. Washington Nationals actually were picked 10, surprisingly. What are the odds of that? And I believe they picked Drew Storen, who I think was on the Jays at one point. He was. He's the he guy we traded uh, Ben Revere for. Ah, yes, yes. But they could have had Jason Kipnis. That would have been interesting, having Jason Kipnis there during like the Bryce Harper kind of era. Yeah, who do they have? What's that guy's I name? have no I don't even know who their second baseman was during who, who was their second baseman when they won the, the World Series? It was that guy, right? What was his name? It was Howie Kendrick. Yeah, I love that guy. Howie Kendrick. But I, I don't think he was there when Harper was there. So imagine having Jason Kipnitz there. That would have really solidified the infield. Because what they have um Zimmerman at third, right? Oh no, Rendon yeah. at third, Zimmerman at and first. Do- yeah, Trey and Turner at and short. Turner at short, yeah. And Kipnis. Oh, what an infield. Oh my god. That would have been a sick infield. So mm-hmm. again, Washington, you messed up. Yep, classic. Well, I mean, they, at least they've drafted Bryce Harper. Not this year, but they drafted him, so that's cool. Yeah. All right, pick number nine. The Detroit Tigers selected Jacob Turner, who I've never heard of, but I wonder if he's related to one of the Turners. And they could have got Brian Dozier. Imagine, just just imagine Dozier on the Tigers. You gotta remember during this time of the draft, this is when Miguel Cabrera was a uh, triple crown triple winner. Crown they winner, had yeah. yeah, they had a uh, insane rotation the with Herlander, David Price, Scherzer. Erlander, Scherzer. Oh my god, that rotation! But just imagine adding, adding Dozier to that. Did they have Prince Fielder on the team at that time as well, or was that after? I think so no, no, I think they did have Prince then. I too. love Prince Fielder. Prince Fielder on this team would have made it epic. And then they have Brian Dozier at second, because I don't know who they had at second. It was probably some fill-in. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know. but Unless yeah. we're missing someone, it's probably a fill-in of some sort. But yeah, it, mm-hmm. he would have put up insane numbers, too. The oh. amount of RBIs Brian Dozier would have had. Yeah, I mean, I know he's playing in Detroit, which is not the best uh, hitter-friendly park. But, I mean, he still would have done well. Pick number eight, Daniel. The, the Cincinnati this is- Reds. This is a decent pick, okay? This is a decent pick. 
Eighth overall, they drafted Mike Leak. But well, they, at least as a first rounder in this uh, thing. Exactly, they could have had JD Martinez. Oh, JD Martinez in that lineup. In Cincinnati, with like what? Who else is on that team? Like Joey Votto. Votto. Yeah, Joey Votto. They would have um, raked yeah. for years. Oh, they would have been like best friends. They could have been oh, like my. Bash brothers, like Bautista and Edwin. This is why I love baseball because coming out of college, JD Martinez went to a Division two college. He did? Wow. Where did he so, go overall? 611. Oh, my. To the Astros, actually. Hmm. Yes. Interesting. So, that's, that's why you got to love baseball. They were um, a couple couple spots off here, you know, about 600. So Not bad, not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's close. It's close. All right, number seven. This is actually another good pick. Um, the Braves selected Mike Miner, uh, seventh overall. Which is not again. Bad. At least he's a first rounder in this redraft. Exactly, and they select and they could have had Brandon Belt to play first base, but I mean they got Freeman now, so we'll. I mean, you know what? I think they dodged a bullet on this one. Mm-hmm. Agreed. I th- I think they really did dodge a bullet. As good as Brandon Belt is, they might not have got Freeman then. That's a very good point. I mean, Brand and Brandon Belt went 147th overall, so it's not like the worst in the world. Like what was that? Like fourth or fifth round or something? I don't know, but I- I'm not good at the maths. Yeah, but Brick yeah. Belt, seventh overall, not bad. Chris, this next one. The Giants, who were at the pinnacle of their height during, like, this is right before they went, won three uh, World Series in four years or whatever. Six years? Because, yeah. Six years, yeah, because it's 2009. So this would have been right before 2010 when they won their first one. Mm-hmm. And their original pick was Zach Wheeler. Great pick. I got to get Great it to pick. Him. Good pick. But they could have had Matt Carpenter. I don't know why Matt Carpenter's this high on the list. He, I mean, he's fallen off recently, but he has fallen off recently. But Matt Carpenter, lefty at um, oh, and yeah, in, in San Francisco, I, I can't remember what the bay is McCovey called. Co. There. McCovey Cove, uh, McCovey Cove, McCovey Cove. Yeah, he would have been raking. Oh, 100 percent. And their second sorry. baseman at for this whole stretch was Joe Panic, who like he's good. Hey, but... old man Panic, don't don't dis- I hate. I love he's old man good, Panic. but like I mean, I think Matt Carpenter over them. Well, Matt Carpenter, he doesn't play second. He plays third. I think he plays second and third. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and I, I don't even know there. who the third baseman was. I think it was Pablo. Pa- oh, yeah, that's the goat right there. You don't, you can't take <laughs> Pablo out of there. I love Pablo. <laughs> Pablo kills me, man. <laughs> oh, Pablo. Pablo Sandoval. Talk Legend. about a guy that's falling off, man. But I know he hasn't. He, he remember his belt in uh, Toronto? Yeah. Iconic. Did, iconic. He, I mean, he's a great DH or like a pinch hitter right now, so. All right, let's go to number five on the list is the Baltimore Orioles and <laughs> brutal pick. They it's drafted... funny, Baltimore's down here and they're still down here 12 years later. Yeah, honestly. So they drafted Matthew Hobgood, who I've never heard of. Fifth I'm going to search up right now if that guy's ever played an MLB game. So but they, they could have drafted Kyle Seeger, who... He just retired, by the way. Uh, he did, he did, but... That could have filled a hole that Baltimore needed for years. I mean, I know they had Machado, but Corey, Kyle Seager could have moved somewhere. And, and you could I put mean, Machado at short. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. And Matthew right? Hobgood, bro. Matthew Hobgood. Oh, Matthew Hobgood. I just searched him up. Searched him up, yeah. I used to play, he played from 2009 to 2015. Okay. I used to made it was double A for one season. How good were his stats? Uh, he had a career ERA of five. Oh, he was a pitcher. Okay. Yeah. Five? Oh, God. Five. In the minors, bro. Come on. You're he was 17 and 24 record, which is like not really anything. Cause eh, wins, wins or losses. Don't care. Uh, he gave up s- only 17 career home runs. That ain't bad. Okay. What was his whip, though? What, do you have like a walk problem? Where's his whip? 1.482. Okay. So that's not bad. I guess it's maybe he got bad. Must have got unlucky. I mean, he had a five year already, so whatever. I mean, yeah. All right, pick number four, the Pittsburgh Pirates. They drafted Tony Sanchez, who is a catcher. Uh, I have heard of him, actually. You've heard of him? Okay, so yes, maybe he did yeah, something. Actually. At least, okay. He's but, a good defensive catcher, but he's no Steven Strasburg, who they could have. Yeah, I mean, if you guys don't know, Strasburg won first overall in this draft of the Nationals. But now he's going fourth overall to the Pirates here. So just take that into perspective to see who's going to be on this list a little bit later. 
imagine during that, I think it was 2013, roughly, 2014, when the when Pirates, the Pirates were, you know, were like consistent in the playoffs, With Andrew McCutcheon, McCutcheon yeah. in the outfield. Mm-hmm. And then they're adding to this rotation, Strasburg, who has already had Garrett Cole, uh, Jay Happ, like. Mm-hmm. That would have been a solid 1-3 combo. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I can't, I mean, yeah, I mean, they drafted a guy named Tony Sanchez, but they could have had Strasburg. So what can you do? They also they also like missed out on Kyle Seager, Matt Carpenter, Brandon Bell, Zach Wheeler, you know. But yeah, 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 all those other guys. But it's fine. They picked Tony Sanchez, so yeah. Pick number three. No surprise to see these guys here. The San Diego Padres. Um, they were god awful. They time. selected Donovan Tate, who I believe I've heard of before. I don't I think, think he's a he was runner. No, I don't know. I don't think he was ever good. Uh, but they could have had Paul Goldschmidt. I mean, that's a miss. If they had Paul Goldschmidt, there's no way Hosmer goes to uh, San Diego. 100%. 100%. I don't know where Hosmer would have gone. Probably would have stayed with the Royals. But, but Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt in that lineup, he would still be playing. He still is playing. He's still killing it in, in St. Louis. Mm-hmm. He's a great player. Probably would help lead that team. So, yeah. Let's move on to number two because this, this is a big miss right here. Um, the Seattle Mariners had the second pick in the 20, 2009 draft. They selected Dustin Ackley, who I don't think I've heard of. I have heard of him. He okay. was nothing but like a utility guy. for. Okay, okay. But you know who they could have had who's not a utility guy? No, Nolan. Mr. Nolan Arenado. Yeah, it's funny how Nolan Arenado and Goldschmidt are back-to-back on this list. Now they're on the same team. That is. That's quite... That's actually quite funny. Yeah, I know, right? It's weird. Yeah. Um. So what? The the best third base, arguably the best third baseman in baseball, and or utility player. I mean, who would you rather have? I mean, I still think he's the best third baseman in baseball. Like, I, I, I might think J Ram. I don't know. Oh, J Ram is pretty good. Hang on, I forgot about J Ram. And but Kevin. Yeah. Kevin Vigio is pretty good too. So. Okay, you're not. You're getting a little bit ahead of yourself. I mean, maybe if Seattle did these right moves, they actually would make the playoffs. Ah, who knows? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Um, let's go to the number one pick. Uh, I- I'm not going to get mad at the Nationals for picking Steven Strasburg first overall because he's good and he was. I'm pretty sure this year, like, Strasburg won Pitcher of the Year at it in, in college. So, like... He had- didn't he have one of the best college seasons of, like, yeah. all time or something? Like, I don't blame them for picking Steven Strasburg. Like, yeah, they could have had Mike Trout, obviously, but... They got Steven Strasburg. I, and then yeah. I think a couple years after, they got Bryce Harper anyway. So, like, whatever. I mean, it's just funny. Imagine imagine an infield, or an infield, an outfield with Mike Trout and Bryce Harper. Oh, my God. And then, wait, and then if they kept Bryce Harper, they could have had Juan Soto on that, too. And they would have had um, whoever the second baseman was from earlier. I don't remember what their name was, but. Oh, what was it? Oh, Carpenter, right? Was it Carpenter? Yes. Yes, Carpenter. No. Yeah. I don't remember who it was. I don't remember, but it was somebody who was the second baseman. So, oh, also oh, want to mention just Kipnis. some Jason not- Kipnis. Some oh, yes, Jason Kipnis. Also, yeah. some notable names also that didn't get picked in the first round. Um, I mean, Corey Dickerson was in this draft. James Paxton, Marcus Stroman, Mitch Haniger. I think Stroman should be on this list compared to some other guys, like some of the relievers. Uh, the th- Stroman got drafted and then he didn't sign. So, like, oh, okay, did he go back for no? Did he get drafted by he the went Jays? Back. Yeah, so, so yeah, he did. Okay. Good thing he didn't get drafted here. Yeah, good job. <laughs> good job, Marcus. But that's our redraft. Um, if you guys liked it, make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you guys want to see another draft, I mean, I, I had fun with it, Chris. Did you have fun? I did have fun. I love it, it making was, fun of it teams. It was that nice didn't looking back show. at it, right? Yes, yes. So if you guys want to see another draft, let us know down below which one it is. I would say probably try to make it at least four years ago so like we can actually kind of see the people mm-hmm. develop but yeah. yeah and we'll see you guys all next time goodbye